Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Hey, Allie. Kyrie Irving draws praise. Sure does, Allie. Thank you. And checking out Brooklyn's opening lineup, we've got Ben Simmons. Royce O'Neal is out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Durant in the small forward position. Well, Doris, we're expecting most of the action to come out of the backcourt of this game. No, exactly, B.A. Both teams are led by their terrific guard play. The outcome of this game likely hinges on the respective performances of those two positions. Here we go. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Now here's Simmons. Outside Durant. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. How about the balance from Durant? More strong than you would think that frame suggests. Able to finish through contact as KD. Now here's Hachimura. Blocked. And here's Simmons. Inside, Claxton. Boom! He jams it straight down. Really heads up play by Kyrie Irving. On time and on target pass. We've seen that before. First quarter of play, a minute in. Hachimura up top. That's tipped. Here's the break. Hey, yo, right here. Blocked! Takes a three. Brooklyn with the board. Well, with all the trade requests over the last year, the Nets started to seem like a sinking ship. But with KD still on board, a chance to stay on course, he's invested so much in this team. I'm glad to see him remain in Brooklyn. Now here's Irving. Six on the shot clock. From the baseline. Count it. Good. Well, smart play by Kyrie Irving. Just gets on the board in the mid-range. Guarded by Durant. And Durant with the block. Wow, twice on the pipes for Kevin Durant. That's the length coming into play right there. The Nets have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. On the wing, Irving. Beyond the arc. Sinks the tray. Irving's got five points. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Grant. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do, finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Now here's Simmons. Tight defense on him. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And that one misses. Say what you want about Ben Simmons and sometimes the challenges he has on the offensive end. He is a hard-playing defensive force who has windows of opportunity where he contributes offensively. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. He's off on the first. Good on the second one. For Brooklyn, they've gone five of six. They're rolling. Outside Irving. 
And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Irving's got his third basket on the night right there. Guarded by Durant. O'Neal pulls it in. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 13 to 1 run. Pass to Claxton. Goes back up. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three point play. And the free throw, no good. Gone 0 for 5 to begin this game. To the middle. Here's Watanabe. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got four rebounds now. Here's Simmons. Pass to Irving. Knocks it loose. Guarded by Durant. And the lamp is good off the glass. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, to the hard way. Going right at the defense and making something out of nothing. From deep, from beyond the arc, and then some. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Irving. Outside Simmons. Back to Irving. Yes, and that's Simmons with the assist. Irving's got nine. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Harris has checked in for Durant. We've got 108 left in the first quarter of the game. Takes a turnaround, Jay. Tips it. Claxton with a rebound. And here are the Nets now. They're on a 17-6 run. Harris. Deflected. And they'll keep possession. Second chance effort. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That free throw, no good. So he can't get either to fall. Gone one or two from three-point land so far. Let's it fly. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. He's got five. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Back to Irving. And it's blocked. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The rebound by Simmons. The Nets have got eight of 13 attempts to go. Outside Irving. Let's it go from the wing. That one a little long. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And so it's Brooklyn. They have a nice nine-point cushion. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Nets, what do you think, guys? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Well, I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. I see him. I see him. Pounded by Harris. Just five on the clock. Fires from the wing. And it's Harris with the rebound. The Nets with the lead. And then for the Brooklyn Nets. Royce O'Neal is out there with Joe Harris. Then it's Ben Simmons. Then they're Sharp. And it's Thomas in at the shooting guard position. 
I think it might surprise people that Joe Harris does not mind contact on the interior. That's a nice shot. Wow. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. The three. And he can't get that one. Brooklyn shooting about 60% for the game. And for the Nets, we've got Joe Harris. Sharp out there with Royce O'Neal. Then it's Ben Simmons. And it's Thomas in at the two-guard position. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. Count it. He's got seven. And you listen to the great defenders. They talk about disrupting the rhythm of a score. Doors, how do they accomplish that? I think it can occur, Brian, in any number of ways. The first thought you have, obviously, is being physical, obviously within the rules. You can try to deny touches. You can try to deny spots on the floor that players are trying to get to. It can also be psychological. Try to get under the skin of the offensive player you're contending with. And for the Nets, they've got Royce O'Neal. He's out there with Joe Harris. Ben Simmons is out there with Sharp. And it's Thomas in at the two. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. So the Nets making a switch here. Durant's checked in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. Shoots. That shot, no good. Gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Achimura. Simmons defending. The shot won't fall for Brooklyn. They've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Knocked loose. And here they come. Drills it from deep. He's got 13. And that's all the result of some good defensive awareness. Timeout called. Brooklyn. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. So both teams changing it up here. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Up top, Durant. Five to shoot. Money from 17 feet out. Durant's got his second basket of the game. You know, it seems like the Nets and KD played the will they or won't they all summer long. But no deal was found, and KD is giving it another shot with the Nets. Now, there just didn't seem to be a deal that was right to move Durant. And the first one at the line is good. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And the Nets with possession here. They've led by as many as 14. Harris on the wing. Back to Irving. Pass to Durant. For three. And they get it back. Tries again. And another shot. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line.
What fascinates me about Kyrie Irving, clearly he is one of the most skilled guards to ever play. Ask his counterparts, other NBA players, who their favorite basketball player is, who the most complete player is, the answer will be Kyrie Irving. Here's Watanabe, guarded by Durant. The fader. Here's Hachimura. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. No good on that one. And again, about Kyrie Irving. We really are witnessing one of the best point guards to play the game, Doris. B.A., one of the best scoring guards we have ever seen. His handle is elite. It gives you some sense of how much the position has evolved. Point guards almost must score as much as they facilitate. Mills, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Back to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Patty Mills is about winning, guys, and if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Out to the right wing. Let's it fly. The shot no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. From 10 feet away. And it's Watanabe with the rebound. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. <laughs> 41 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Pass to Simmons. To the left wing. The three is up. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Well, this is the kind of defense we are accustomed to seeing from Ben Simmons. Just so good at sending it back. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Twenty seconds left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Oni. It's deflected. Durant, the pass to Irving. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Irving's got five points in the quarter, and so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Pass to Achimura. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got seven rebounds in the game. And then for the Brooklyn Nets, Royce O'Neal is out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then there's Kevin Durant. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Simmons in at the point guard position. Now, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Outside Durant. Pass to Simmons. Irving for three. And it's Simmons with the jam. This is a real specialty of Ben Simmons, the ability to go after it on the glass. And if you're just joining us, we played just over a minute here in the third. Back to Achimura, five on the clock. And the ball ends up out of bounds. 
And they'll keep possession. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it. So close. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Four on the clock. Wing shot on the way. That shot off the mark. Ooh, great D that time from Simmons. The Nets with the lead. Pass to O'Neal. 4-3. That shot off. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. And Simmons, here we go. Shot is up. Again, the net score. Guard skills, but a big-time forward or center-type body. Ben Simmons making it happen inside. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. Puts up a three. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Throws it up high. And that one is hammered home. You can tell Simmons is a guy who, from the moment he picked up a basketball, has been a point guard by nature. Guarded by Durant. Buries it from three. 19 points in the game. But he is so efficient, so productive. But for them to have real success, he needs help. Outside Simmons. Back to Irving. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons has got four assists in the game. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. A great job to establish position and square up. The Nets have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Irving. Back to Duran. Shoots. Misses the jumper. Gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And Kevin Durant post-Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Grant. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. Here's Watanabe. He has seven. Rebound Brooklyn. Claxton's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Outside Simmons. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, because of his size, when he's on the interior with the ball in his hands, Ben Simmons is a problem. Some changes for Brooklyn. Harris is checked in for Durant. Thomas comes in for Irving. And Sumner subbed in for O'Neal. Hachimura up top. Pass to Oni. Back to Hachimura. There's the block. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Edwards, he's checked in for Simmons. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. There's a minute 40 left to play in the third. Just two to shoot. Here's Oni. Claxton with a rebound. 
Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Ali. When Joe Harris is looking to score the basketball, defenses can overcommit. They do there and commit the foul. That one's no good. Gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Oh, stolen by Harris. Fast break, Brooklyn. Here's Thomas. Finished off the break. Thomas has got his first points of the night. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Brooklyn? You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. And let's give them credit to the shot blocking on display. They set the tone early and have kept the pressure on defensively. Free throw good, Hachimura. So the Nets making a switch here. Sharps checked in. And both free throws good for Hachimura. 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Harris on the wing. Here's Sumner. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Six to shoot. The three is up. He buries it from three. And the Nets lead by 12. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Here's Oni. And he banks in the layup. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Pass to Irving. Back to Simmons. O'Neal on the wing. Here's Simmons. Oh, he couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. And for Brooklyn, Kevin Durant is out there with Royce O'Neal. Then they're sharp. Then it's Ben Simmons. And it's Irving in at the shooting guard position. Clock at 6. Over to the wing. Baseline jumper. That one doesn't drop. And Brooklyn going the other way now. They've led by as many as 14. Here's Sharp. Lays it up and banks it in. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Launches it. Pass to Watanabe. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The first free throw is good. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And for the Nets, they're shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Irving, and that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got three assists tonight. Kyrie Irving comes at the game with a scorer's mentality, and right now he is carrying the offense. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Oh, Simmons with the block. Outside Durant. Let's the three fly. And the Nets get it back. Pass to O'Neal. 
Now here's Simmons. The D's right on him. Second shot opportunity. Tries yet again. And the layup is good. And the Nets lead by 15. Staying strong through the contact. Ben Simmons doesn't back off. Guarded by Durant. It's tipped. They get it back. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Ooh, tough possession there. They stayed with it. Just couldn't make the shot. Now here's Simmons. Defense right on him. At 6'11", this guy is very difficult to get a quality contest. Ben Simmons does a nice job drawing contact. Free throw good, Simmons. And so he hits both. Got nothing to go so far in the fourth. They're 0 for 6. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. The rebound by the Nets. Here's O'Neal. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Looking to get it going. Trained it for two points. Listen, we know that it is a very tough job to cover Kevin Durant. He takes pleasure at making tough shots. Coach really needs to get his guys fired up in attacking the glass. They're not putting up much of a fight, and it's led to way too many second-chance shots. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Ben Simmons. And <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. This year was a gutsy performance from him in front of a tough crowd. The fans were on his back, and it never got to him. If anything, it motivated him more. Simmons defending. A shot to stop the drought. You can see the defensive versatility of Ben Simmons. This guy wreaks havoc. It doesn't matter who he's defending. Pass to O'Neal. On the wing, Irving. Now Durant. For three, O'Neal. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. The Nets have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Here's Durant. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Irving finds Simmons. Here's O'Neal. A minute 39 left to play in the fourth. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. Pass to Achimura. To halt the run. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Morris, he's checked in for O'Neal. Watanabe comes in for Durant. Sumner's checked in for Irving. And it's Mills in for Ben Simmons. Brooklyn has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Nets.
pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. Shot clock at six. And a miss there on the triple. Well, Brooklyn's shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Outside Mills. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Think back to the 2020 games in Tokyo, guys. Patty Mills leading Australia to the bronze medal. The first medal ever for men's basketball. A huge moment for the country. Edwards, he's checked in for Claxton. One of the best parts about Patty Mills is his adaptability to the club's needs. You need him to come off the bench and be that leader on the second team, he can do that. You need him to be a spot starter, he can do that as well. He is about team first. Here's Honey. He's guarded by Mills. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Patrick Mills picks one up. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. Second free throw, no good. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. So we see the Nets taking the W here. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in.